Well, now we're going to go back to our top story, Black Friday, the shopping frenzy day. And not everyone gets caught up in it, of course. Not everyone is a consumer, materialist kind of person. In fact, there's a campaign dreamed up in Canada that's encouraging people to turn Black Friday into the Buy Nothing Day. And it is supported by lots of people and organisations, including Greenpeace. Now, we can go to Greenpeace's Kirsten Brodder. She is one of the key figures of its so-called detox campaign, which supports Buy Nothing Day. Uh, Kirsten, thanks for joining us on Money Talks. Just wanted to ask you, what do you think is the main problem with Black Friday? So, Black Friday is expected to generate new billions of dollars in sales uh, for clothing and other products. And this is, of course, uh, of course encouraging overconsumption of unnecessary goods. And because fashion is so cheap, um, fashion is one of the items that are really most sold on Black Friday. So, and that is the reason why we are supporting Buy Nothing Day and calling for a time out for fast fashion. Okay, but if people buy nothing for one day, surely they're just creating a pent-up demand that will be unleashed over the following few days. Yeah, that's true, of course. It's just stopping for, for one day, but it's about reflecting on what you really need, okay? So we really encourage you uh, to rethink what you really need in terms of fashion, because you can see, clearly see that um, fashion is it's on the rise. So um, the average person buys 60% more items of clothing every year and keeps them for about half as long as 15 years ago. And this is producing immense volumes of textile waste. So what do you want the manufacturers to do? I would say they have really to end their throwaway mentality because they trained us to see clothing as a disposable item. So I think they should really rethink what they produce, make it more durable, repairable and ready for reuse. Well, that's the manufacturers. What about consumers? You're saying that if you have a buy nothing day and you don't get caught up in Cyber Monday, Black Friday, you're less likely to make impulse purchases that you don't really need. Is that what you're saying? Yes, and exactly. The simple step is, of course, to stop buying for at least one day. But I would say it's even better if you start rethinking uh, your clothing. And that means that you could simply uh, wear your clothes for longer. You could look after them. You, you, you could repair them, restyle them, and reinvent them. Okay. Swap them with friends and pass them on. So there are a lot of things that you can do instead of buying new stuff and simply not sharing, cherishing it and then throwing it away without any regret. Kirsten Broder, thank you very much for joining us on Money Talks with that sage advice.